In this video, we're looking at the cognitive perspective of psychology. And this is a very important perspective in this uh, also equally important discipline of psychology. All right, so we want to begin to understand what this means. And for us to have that understanding, we look at the meaning of the word cognito, right? Cognitive, cognito. So cognito uh, means I think, right? That's what it means, I think. And thinking then is a mental process that allows us to uh, go deeper into our uh, analytic uh, being, so to speak, and be able to think about different aspects of life, right? And that's what thinking is, right? So cognito means I think, and it deals with how humans process, organize, store, right? A lot of activities here. Let's take it again, how humans process, organize, store and retrieve information how do we do that this is the process of cognitive thinking cognitive perspective right this is what it means cognito means i think and when you're thinking it involves a whole lot of processes including organizing right uh storing retrieving information that process is associated with cognitive or cognito i think or cognitive perspective all right so it also deals with the analytic function of the brain the analytic function of the, of the brain please take note of this point a very critical point and facilitates high level thinking such as critical thinking what is critical thinking that's a deeper level of thinking so let's put that here uh deeper right this is deeper level of thinking that's critical thinking right so you think beyond the surface and go deeper and think about the economy, think about the political situation and think about uh, your next steps, your analyzing, your thinking and your slicing and dicing and your evaluating and assessing. That's critical thinking. This process is part of the cognitive perspective, right? So such as critical thinking, analytical thinking, logical thinking and memory retention. All of these are part of cognitive perspective. When we talk about cognitive perspective, now don't forget, now we go back to the meaning, I think, right? And all of these processes are part of the thinking process. Now, when we talk about thinking, there are different levels of thinking, of course, right? So you have the surface thinking, the surface thinking, and you have the deep thinking, right? So the deep thinking and the surface thinking, this is thinking. Right, so the surface thinking, as the name suggests, is right on the surface. There's really no critical thinking involved in that. There's no need to go deeper. There's no analytic uh, component to it, no logical component to it. But when you go to the deeper aspect, you begin to analyze and evaluate and assess. You begin to look, have a, a deeper, uh, deeper thinking about various aspects of life. That's what this means. It is connected with the analytical process of perceiving believing thinking remembering knowing and deciding all of this are associated with cognitive perspective this perspective was developed in the 1960s so it's relatively new uh, unlike many other psychological perspectives that have have uh, been around for decades and decades right this one was developed in the 1960s and associated with george miller who was born in 1920 jerome brunner was born in 1915, and Yurich Nessa was born in 1928, right? These are the main um, psychologists who were, uh, you, know, you know, at the forefront, who were at the forefront of this perspective. So the cognitive perspective is a very critical aspect of psychology. It is a very important aspect of this discipline of psychology because it allows us to understand how humans think, right? So how humans think, right? So the thinking process of humans and the different aspects of thinking, the surface thinking and the deep thinking, which involves analytical thinking and so forth. So cognito, right? Let's clear this off. So cognito uh, is once again, I think, and it deals with how humans process, organize, store, and retrieve information. That is the core aspect of this concept of cognitive perspective. 
it also deals with the analytical function. Now, this is the deeper function of the brain and facilitates high level thinking. And what are those high level thinking? Critical thinking, analytical thinking, logical thinking, memory retention, right? For you to retain information. It is also connected with the analytical process of perceiving, believing, thinking, remembering, knowing, and deciding. Again, all of these are very critical aspects of the concept of cognitive perspective. We're talking about analytical processing. You process analytically. That's a different and higher level of processing. Uh, it's beyond processing, oh, should I take the bus or should I ride my bike? That's basic. That's on the surface, right? It can be deeper if you look at the consequences of each side and so forth and the cost benefit. It can be deeper, but mostly it's on the surface. So, but analytical thinking is critical thinking. Right, and that's a deeper level of thinking. You're examining, you're evaluating, you're assessing, etc. So the process of perceiving, believing, thinking, remembering, knowing, and deciding, uh, and this is cognitive perspective, a very, very important aspect and integral aspect of psychology, the discipline of psychology.